All right. I thought, uh, I thought today was a good practice. Uh, you know, I thought guys came out once again with, with good energy. Uh, you know, third down day, you know, we try to keep, you know, really trying to push and, and keep the speed work. Uh, you know, even just doing some crossover, we're trying to you know, keep, uh, you know, the good on good. You know, trying to have a somewhat of an emphasis of, uh, of what we're going to face you know, here this week, but just still trying to, to have, uh, you know, with the growth in our fundamentals, our communication, the details. Uh, you know, I think guys are, uh, are pushing hard and, uh, you know, still areas that, uh, things that we got to clean up as we as we get closer to the game, but um, you know, I'm proud of how the guys have been coming to work. What are your plans with you know, storm coming? You guys still playing the Friday? Yeah, we're still we're still monitoring all things with the with the uh, with the storm. So uh, you know, we have we have plans that are that are uh, you know, tentative plans in place, and then we have you know, A, B, and C. So uh, we'll we'll see if, if anything needs to be adjusted. We'll go from there. Is it kind of stressful for the guys, you know, having a game on Saturday, but then also having a hurricane come on Saturday? How do you kind of balance that? Yeah, them? I mean, it's it, for everybody. You know, it's, I mean, and you know, obviously our, you know, our, our thoughts are with everybody that's going to be affected because it's, it's life. I mean, it's not, you know, we're here to, you know, to we get the opportunity and the blessing to play this game, to be able to be at this, this great place. And, um, you know, we have so much focus on the game. Um, but, you know, it's, I mean, there's going to be lives that are, that are, absolutely impacted for, for a lifetime. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, we're praying that everything that goes as, uh, as smooth and as easy as possible for, for all that will be affected. But, uh, you know, it's, one of one thing is the, the, health, the health and the well, well-being of this team and the, the staff and everybody that's involved. So, uh, it's like what we've been talking about all week. You know, like I said, we have our plans. Um, you know, and if we need to adapt and adjust, to obviously we will. Uh, I mean, I, I think there's been there's been moments we we gotta have, I mean, it's gotta show up. It's gotta be consistent, and we gotta you know, take, take the confidence in the work that you put in, uh, and then you gotta go apply it. And in the game, that's part of it. one of the things I, I I think we're really close. I really do, and you know, I, and I think we saw a couple steps last last few weeks defensively uh, because of the. You know, just the extra emphasis of enjoy. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but like of enjoying the work, enjoying the grind, enjoying the, the competition. I mean, I mean, there's good plays and bad plays, um, but you know, guys really, you know, I thought, took the right um, you know mindset and approach to that. And even with some challenging situations showed up last week, you know, they responded well, and uh, we got to continue to to do that on, on both sides. I think. Uh, offensively, and I got a lot of confidence in the guys that we have, you know, but it has to show up there on game day, and they just got to go do it and have fun, you know, with it, you know, with what we get to, to uh, what we get to be a part of, what we get to do, and then uh, they'll be themselves come on Saturday night. How was DJ today? I thought, I mean, I thought he did some really good things. I thought some good throws. Uh, you know, I think, you know, we're, we're, we're pushing and challenging all those guys. You know, I, I want to see the consistency. I want to see, you know, the ownership. Of, uh, of the work and you know it still comes down to, to being able to execute and, and carry over the, the lessons or the things that we need you to see uh, and you know where we need to put the ball and the timing of it all that has to translate and uh, you know but when I see when I see that I thought he had a really good day yesterday when I see it translate and you see the confidence in it then there's not there's not thinking on game day you just go out there and you, you trust what you've done all week and be able to go put on display. When you look at Elijah Moore Seems like he had a couple big plays in practice today and yesterday. Just how close do you think he is to pushing on the field? I mean, you know, he's he's definitely somebody that um, you know I'm, I'm excited about his future. Um, and there's still a lot of things that he has to show that you know, in being ready to, to be on the field. And uh, ultimately, there's a, I mean, we've talked to him about what we need to see. I mean, because um, you know, those are those are those are opportunities that I believe that he's gonna he's gonna be able to uh, you know take advantage of. And you know, I, I really. I like our freshman group. I mean, I think you know, I think we talked about the young tight ends there a few you know, a few days ago. I mean, I think those guys. Makai Danzi is another guy that's that's really pushing. Um, you know, Elijah, you know, Lewayne. I mean, you know, you look at those offensive skill guys. I mean, it's a it's, it's an impressive group of young men. You know, Cam Davis is you know he's doing, it. and uh, you know I think when you see the the work that, that and, and the consistency of what he's done and understanding what and where and, and the things that he needs to do. Uh, you know, it's it's allowed him to be in that position, and so uh, you know, I mean, I'm I'm ready to play any guy that can go out there and, and be able to help impact our team, and that's that's one of the things that we that we're looking at at, at all positions.
how do you know when it is time? I think you know it's time for a young guy to go from special teams reps to say 10 reps within the offense with the defense. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, um, you, you know, you, you see, you know the things you're asking them to do within the course of practice. You see the quick, you know, as I say, the quickness, the efficiency of communication, um, you know, the, uh, the alignments, the adjustments for what you might get in a, in a practice of a look, or if there's, uh, you know, are they, are they, trans, are they uh, translating, you know, the, uh, if there is a, an assignment adjustment, if there's a technique that, that, that needs to be used, uh, and then, you know, guys that go out there and that they achieve success versus, you know, the looks of, of what it, you know, what you might see and what you what you could get. So, uh, you know, it's, I think you're seeing that, like with with Eddie. I mean, he started uh, Edwin Joseph. I mean, he, he started, you know, with special teams. You know, he, was, he felt his presence in practice. You saw him. Um, you know, he's a, he's a talented young man. You give him, you obviously got some special teams reps, made some positive plays, um, and then you know, we just continued to build it with his confidence on what he was doing defensively. Opened the door there, and we took advantage of that whenever he got him as well. What about with Jeremiah, with Jeremiah Byers and I'm all close to leads to getting back to full strength? Yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's been working in practice, so uh, I think we'll see how that uh, continues to, to translate towards uh, towards the game. You know, Rob Scout is back out there uh, today, too. So, I mean, you know, obviously we want those guys to be to be ready to roll, um, you know, before we put it back in the game. Uh, so we'll see how that progresses, but definitely uh, I like where they're, where they're trending. This will be a first Last true, one. First true road game uh, of the season. Uh, well, I mean, you know, obviously we're, we're trying to work uh, you know, different things. That we, we we try to work that regardless of a game week, uh, a road game week. Um, you know, there's times that we'll we'll utilize you know a variety of cadences. We'll utilize you know different different uh, elements. You know, we try to create that type of atmosphere so it's not just you know pack and roll into one week and say hey we got. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, if I feel good about you know our preparation when it comes to that and. Uh, Right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.